We found the problem that this engine has. Definitely rocking back and forth. We're going to spin it around and bring it up to the TDC and get a better angle at that.
make a mistake and we forget to install the oiler shaft that connects the old pump to the distributor it's a hexagon shaped shaft that goes between the oil pump and the distributor and anybody that's built engine knows exactly what I'm talking about so what we did instead is we were able to install it from the top by pulling the uh, rating off of it that centers it when it goes in from the bottom and with some assembly goo, we attached it to the bottom of the distributor, slid it down, and got it lined up with the old pump. And it took took a lot of doing, but we were able to get it that way.
All right, finally got this thing buttoned up. So we're ready to drop it in now. Maybe get that other. I don't think I'm gonna set. I think I'm gonna take this one off and put the blue one on it until we get it set in there. But yeah. Thank <laughs> you. 
Okay, I have skipped quite a few things, unfortunately. I got a little confused about this uh, accessory drive system because I did not video taking it out and how it was before, but it's all, it's all hooked back up now. We do have a new all aluminum three row radiator with electric cooling fans. Um, I really hope this thing doesn't run too cold. I don't think it will, but anyway. Um, we got a lot of wiring kind of temporarily done. So we have that kind of wire nutted over there. That is our ignition source. Hopefully there's not too many things on this ignition circuit. It's what I have is a signal for this is the, this is the fan control relay and this is the fuse for it. I also have the wire going to this carburetor and the wire going to the fuel pump on the same circuit. So, as long as that's not too much on it, we should be okay. I also have the new distributor put in. Um, since this is a 95 roller motor, this is a steel, there's a steel gear on the bottom of this distributor because the roller cams are, have steel gears on them. At least that's my understanding. But yeah, we're pretty much ready to start this thing up. We're all, uh, we're timed. I just have to, I had a problem with the thermostat housing I ordered. It, uh, this one right here. It had a, had it all hooked up in there yesterday. And I noticed this at the bottom and I ended up shining a light through it and there's a pinhole in it. So you probably can't see it, but there's, there's some bad casting marks in there. But I ordered it a, a while back and it was like a six dollar part which is annoying so i went by and got another one of those today because i probably could have just jb welded this but uh i didn't really want to do that it was just, it was 15 bucks for any one of these which probably expensive to some people and you can definitely jb weld that and probably get away with it but i got all this going in new and i didn't know if jb weld would hold as a permanent solution or not so that's what we went with Ignition on. I'm gonna have to make some marks on a time of night, but. Go ahead and turn ignition on.
Smell something.